Hello everyone, Eric here from TaskEasy. I uh, want to take a few minutes today and demo our newest version of the app that we have available for both iOS and Android devices. Now you'll notice as we go through today's demo, there have been a few significant changes we've made to the snow clearing portion of the app specifically. Uh, the goal being to make snow clearing as easy as possible. Most of these changes have come as a direct result of feedback we've received from many of our contractors on ways we could make the app better. So very excited about these changes uh, and uh, excited to show them to you today. So you'll notice I'm just on the home screen. I've put in both my username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, now the first thing you'll notice when I log in, I jump straight to this page entitled My Schedule. Now this does look different than what you've seen in the past and should be far more uh, similar to the lawn mowing page that uh, many of you have seen when you've done lawn mowing with us in the past. You'll see I've got today's schedule, uh, tomorrow's schedule, uh, so on and so forth. I can keep going down, clear out on Sunday, I've got a schedule. Now basically what we've done here is taken forecasted snowfall in your area and any time there's snowfall of one inch or greater, we've added a job to your schedule with the associated customer's name and address. Uh, and this should greatly simplify knowing when to go out to your customer and uh, submitting invoices on their behalf. Uh, now let me just walk you through how this will work, for example, today. So you've seen I've logged in. Uh, let's go to the second customer down, Carl Orange. Now you can see Carl was forecasted to have th a little over three inches of snow uh, in his area today. So if I go clear Carl snow, or when I go clear Carl snow, I'm going to click on Carl. And uh, now you notice here there's only one option, and that's request payment. And that's simply because the snow is forecasted today, and really one of two things is going to happen. Either you'll be out there clearing, or you're going to wait to see if it does snow. So during the day, there's really no, uh, no opportunity to say it didn't snow. We'll get that opportunity is given the next day, and we'll get to that in a minute. So let's say I go out to Carl's house, I'm clearing snow. When I'm done, I'm going to request a payment, uh, also known as submitting an invoice. Very similar to what we've done in the past. So you're going to choose the depth of the snow. Uh, let's say for Carl, it was 9 to 12 inches. I'm going to, uh, you know, he ordered de-icer, so I'll add de-icer. You can see the revenue and the cost there as always. Now, uh, of course, important as always, add a picture. So you can see no pictures presently added. I'll uh, go up to my camera and choose a picture I've already taken of the beautiful snowfall we had here this morning. So I'm going to add that, and I'm going to submit the invoice. That simple. Uh, and that payment has been done. I got the finished response back. Now, you'll also notice that if I go up, there's another job on this schedule, Jim Smith. Now, a little different here. You'll see the red icon. It says, snow on Monday, please, please report work. So this would be a case where there was snow in the forecast on a prior day, but uh, either no invoice was submitted or no action was taken to uh, signal to us that snow didn't fall. So when I click on Jim Smith, you'll see a couple of new options here. Uh, of course, as always, I can request a payment so I can submit an invoice. Let's say I did clear the snow, but it was late last night. Various reasons I didn't submit an invoice. I can now do it here. That looks the exact same as how we just submitted an invoice a moment ago. I can also select an option for not enough snow. So if I select that, uh, it simply says, thanks for updating. And that sends ta us to task easy a message. Um, and on it, it removes it so that we don't contact you to see why you hadn't cleared it or what was going on. You can see it actually pulled it right off my schedule. Now the third option was there was uh, to notify us if there's any other problems. So let's say for some reason in the unfortunate event your truck broke down um, or you needed help, you had additional questions, you can click there, put it in, uh, put the comment in there and we'll help you with there. Um, but again, primary goal here is to make this as easy as possible to either submit the invoice or if there's not enough snow to notify us. Uh, so those are a couple of big changes that you'll notice that should make things drastically easier. Now, other screens have not changed that much. You'll see I can go over to my customers. Uh, here's a list of my three customers I've loaded in today. As before, I can propose an invoice or a custom task through there. Uh, so no big changes on any of those. Big ones all are simply on my schedule. Now, in addition to these changes, let me step out of the app and I'll show you a few other changes we made that uh, hopefully will make things even easier and help to keep the app uh, top of mind. So we have added push notifications to both the iOS and Android app. Uh, so I would ask that you go into your system preferences and allow push notifications from TaskEasy. There's two different push notifications that you'll see. The first one is whenever there's forecasted snow in the area. Now, as you, as you already know, at this point, we, uh, we text you whenever there's snow in the area and how many jobs you have. This will change it a bit because you'll now get a push notification that simply says, uh, 
at least X and two inches of snow uh, expected in your area tomorrow, you can then click on that push notification and it'll bounce you right back into the app and go to your customer list. So you can see who's got the forecasted snow for tomorrow and uh, how to plan the day. Uh, additionally, after the storm's over, there will be a push notification if you have any customers who have not been invoiced uh, or who you didn't notify us didn't have snow. And that push notification will say snow in the last 48 hours, submit invoice and get paid. No snow, tell us. Again, you can click there. It's going to bounce you right in the app and you can uh, go through all the questions as we've uh, walked through a minute ago. The final thing you'll notice that's new uh, up in the upper right hand corner, and I'm on a demo version so I don't have it right now, but there, there might be a small red number similar to what you see on my uh, email down below. Uh, so if you have any customers who have not had an invoice from a prior day or who have not indicated to not have snow, there will be a red number up in the top right hand corner of your app signaling that indeed there is uh, some work to do to go in and let us know if there's invoices or if it didn't snow. Uh, so, you know, hopefully all these changes should do a couple of big things for us. One, I think they definitely help plan routes better. We'll know when there's potential snow in your area and you can look up to a week out. Of course, that gets updated as weather forecasts are updated and additionally should make communication uh, even easier. Our goal obviously is to make your job as easy as possible without having to I uh, have what may, but could be a lot of communication back and forth. So I want to make it as easy as possible. And hopefully these changes take us a big step. As always, it, love to hear from any additional feedback or ideas on making the app even better or anything else we can do to make your lives easier. Uh, so thanks again for your time and best of luck with the day.